In this video we're just going to quickly look at how to set up custom modes in the Panasonic GH6. So if you've ever used a Panasonic camera you're probably quite familiar with the dial on the top and the um, C1, C2 so on. Um, if not it's something that you should definitely familiarise yourself with because um, Panasonic cameras there's lots and lots of features in these cameras and you know, if you go out shooting and you want to shoot a few different picture profiles or resolutions or frame rates, um, you'll soon find that you're spending a lot of your time with your head in the camera rather than actually being able to capture shots. So it's really worth sitting down, figuring out which, um, you know, which shooting modes you're going to use the most and getting them dialed into these um, custom modes. So let's say, for example, uh, for my one, if, if we're just in the manual video mode and then we can go through and we can set things up. So if we switch the camera on, um, uh, my I can't really do it through the quick menu because mine probably looks completely different to yours. Um, customizing quick menus, again, they're linked to the custom profiles as well. So you can um, do that as an extra layer. So have all your shortcuts here. Um, definitely worth doing but we don't need to do that first off for this we, we can have it just first off just as basic as getting our picture um, you know our, our frame rates and so on how we want them so if we come into the camera and then the film reel part we can jump in um, it quite likely you're probably using the MOV file format because that's got most of the shooting features in it um, if we come down to recording quality let's say we want to use uh, 25 frames a second yours may be set up slightly different my camera's set up in PAL um, and then just as simple as that we could say okay we want this to be 4k 25 um, you can set your picture profile and then in the menu if we go to the spanner and then it's in the cog so spanner and then the cog fourth one down um, go to save to custom mode we could jump into here and we can say that now is mode one and we overwrite that so if you've already got um, a custom mode set up the easiest way to update that mode is to be in say c1 and then make some tweaks and then save over the top of it overwrite it don't do it from this manual one um, so then we can save that to there and then if we just go back to the camera click into c1 and then you can see up here 4k 25 and then if we we can go back to our um, back to our manual video mode just to play around again with these and we could say for our second one we'd like 4k um, but we want uh, say for example 4k 50 but we'll match it up 420 and then we'll say that's fine we'll take that save that to a custom mode we'll have that as uh, two save that and then we'll also jump back in and for a slightly more advanced one like I say you could be doing everything else picture profiles and all the rest of it but if we take uh, say this one and then we switch variable frame rate on for this one we could then make that 120 and we can also save that one to our save that custom mode and we'll make that say c3 and then you could see now if we're turning the dial on the top i'll just explain which one's which so we've got c1 25 frames a second 4k 2 you can see at the top 50 frames a second and then 3 you can see 120 frames a second now this is very basic all i've done there is just added one <laughs> one resolution to it so um quite likely you'll probably want to set your things like your iso down you know as low as you can go um you you may want to um set things like white balances um you, you might match things up with shutter angle and so forth it's um the, if you start using the custom mode you'll soon work out what you want to add to them it's just a case of getting started with them and um and working with them so hopefully that's enough to get you started with it um you could check out the video on quick menus as well because that's really useful alongside um the custom modes um if you want to see more gh6 content 
subscribe to the channel and if you um, have any questions about certain custom modes just leave a comment below.